In order to use the sales module in ESC, we must first do an initial setup. This will be the building block on which we will create informative invoices on which you can track costs, equipment, and other important data. Setting up anything in ESC is done from the drop-down menu for that particular module. Here we'll select Sales, and you can see the setup options on the bottom section of the menu. First, we will start by setting up billing codes. We select Enter Billing Codes, and the pop-up window will show you all current billing codes. To create a new one, select Add New from the top. This is where we enter the information required to set up a billing code. The type allows you to set what the billing code is going to be used for. For this example, we'll enter a billing code called Diagnostic AC. So this would be a type of Other. I can also put in a price for this code, but if I leave the field blank, I'll be able to enter the price directly on the invoice. The same goes for the cost field. When you're done, click Save to create the code. The next section is Enter Tax Codes. This is where I would set up a tax code for my customers. Remember, if you do not charge tax, you simply use the Tax Exempt Code. When making a tax code, you can specify what parts of the invoice the rate will apply to. If integrated with an accounting application, this information will need to be added to that accounting package. The Enter Sales Sort Codes selection is where we enter the various sales sort codes used throughout the program. These would be how the customer heard about us for this service call. Once you create a code and save it, the code itself cannot be changed, only the description. A sales sort code can be associated to a customer, dispatch, or invoice so that you can see which of your marketing ventures have paid off. The Invoice Counter section is where we set the beginning numbers for ESC's auto-generated invoice numbers. Once set, ESC will use the next available number in order. We do not recommend ever setting this counter backwards once you have invoices entered into your database. The setup point of sale is where we would assign the information for individual cash registers in your retail location. You just enter the register ID and the invoice counter for this register. Each point of sale workstation will have its own invoice numbers. Next, we'll select Enter History Codes. This is where we would set up history codes for our invoices. History codes transfer their information to the customer's history record when the invoice is saved. This way, if you are looking at the customer's record, you get a quick overview of what happened at a job without having to open each individual invoice. This is a great place to set up a code for descriptions you use all of the time to save yourself a little bit of time and work. The usage type is for tracking used amounts of particular items, like Freon or hours. We would enter that here. The last thing I want to cover is the Print Email Invoice Selection. This selection allows you to print or reprint a batch of invoices without having to go into each one and print them individually. You can select a date range or invoice number range to print, and also select specific types of invoices by the checkboxes below. Now that we have our sales options set up, we can begin creating our invoices. Check out our other sales videos for more information on the ESC sales module. <music>